Hi, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. Today was a big day here. We uh, received our battery bank that we're going to be using for our solar setup. It's a Chevy Volt uh, battery bank that came out of a 2013, I believe, 2013 Chevy Volt that had been in an accident. The battery bank was harvested and uh, we received it today and uh, disassembled it and prepped it for the solar installation. In addition to that, we uh, placed an order with uh, a supplier of solar goods here in Arizona, Northern Arizona Wind and Solar, I think is their name. They, uh, we ordered the charge controller, the inverter, and a variety of other units that we're going to need for the full installation. So it's all becoming very real and pretty soon we will have the solar shed completed and then we'll be able to do our installation. We're hoping to have the solar up and running and complete in the next four to six weeks. So what I'm going to show you in this video is the unpacking of the solar uh, pardon me, the Chevy Volt battery bank. And uh, yeah, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. What we're looking at right now is a Chevy Volt battery pack comprised of eight 48 volt modules. Just got it today. And I want to give a shout out to Handyman who is now arriving with this tractor with forklifts and he's going to pull this out for me. Okay, so what you're looking at is the complete Chevy Volt battery system disassembled and taken out of its housing. Handyman just left on his tractor and uh, I'm going to be getting this all organized. This is basically a series of 48 volt and 24 volt modules. You can clearly see 24 volt, 48, 48, another 48, another 48, then we have 48, 24, 48, and 48. So that 24 and that 24 will be wired in series to create an additional 48 volt module that will give us a total of eight 48 volt modules So this is kind of the carnage after disassembling the Chevy Volt battery bank There are some items in here that we'll be able to reuse other items that uh, well They'll just find their way into a box and I'm certainly not going to get rid of them just yet until everything's up and rolling but uh, there was quite a bit to disassemble but honestly thanks to a lot of YouTube videos that are already out there about the disassembly process uh, it went went off without a hitch we also used a uh, multimeter and checked to make sure that the batteries are functioning properly and they sure are this is the housing that uh, protected the battery modules when it was in the vehicle the actual base which is made out of metal down there and then this housing here which is just a composite material I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with it but I'm thinking uh, it might make a nice uh, a nice planter of some kind we could call it a solar raised bed garden I'll let Yvonne figure that out. So I'm in the process of harvesting as much as possible from the Chevy Volt battery bank. And this orange wire, it's actually copper plates, copper, thin copper plates that have been tinned together on the end, uh, was held to, onto the battery bank itself with these clips. And they just fit over the over the uh, cable 
And so I pulled them off and I was going to save the save the uh, cable itself. And I thought, I just have nothing to do with these clips. And I thought about a video I saw from a guy named David Paz. So, David, if you're listening, uh, this is for you. I watched him make out of a plastic milk container or a detergent container something very similar to this to provide a more safer uh, working atmosphere while working on the bank, on the battery banks. And what he did was he basically made this clip and I thought, wait a second, these might fit perfectly. And sure enough, they do. They cover up the connections here so that when you're working on it, and you drag, if you were to accidentally drop a tool, for example, you have a better chance of not creating a short. So uh, I just thought this was a kind of a neat little serendipitous idea and they fit perfectly on here. And I, then, you know, there were some shorter black ones included as well. And they happen to serve the same purpose. Got a whole stack of them. So if you're disassembling your Chevy Volt battery bank, hold on to these clips and they may come in handy.